Like you, I don't know if some study has been done to establish what percentages, right? Yeah, but uh, I think this notion I've also come across it that uh, architects seem to be having trained for in quotes the higher group, but for that I'll say it's a problem because power training uh, for a design it always goes for a given activity it goes for a given context respect to location given activity so if you really do a good work you need to understand the context the target then you design to suit them because that, that that's a it's a kind of skill or principle that students are given so if somebody is going off i would say i will not say it's from the training because the training doesn't uh portray that way they are students are trained to appreciate their context understand that they are target and there are instances where some clients have also complained and uh it has called for architects going back some time to revise their designs within the to be able to fall within the budget of the clients uh -huh. so if you go through the process getting drawing through costing and all that it will help to know but sometimes you meet clients whom uh probably don't even have all the needed funds right they just take a drawing straight to site they don't even know how much it will cost it's believed that oh i want it let me start some funding or resource will come in without really knowing the full cost from the beginning but also some instances you meet some clients they will not allow the pickaxe to hit the ground until they know the financial commitment so it may call for also educating the wider society but for an architect per our training like i mentioned in the intro it's a problem solving delivering solutions so if a client excuse me in the lower bracket wants something they cannot help him or her that means you are you are, you are not providing a solution you're not solving the problem and uh, this may be with the individual it's, it's necessary um, um, it's something that we are aware of that some effort is made but it looks like gradually People are busy, and uh, by virtue of our location, the school is here. If we talk of architects, about 80% plus are in Accra. The instances we try to fall on architects in Kumasi, there are no many of the very experienced ones that can make the needed impact. But bringing them in from Accra goes with some. Uh, with aspects like costs of travel and all that. So there have been instances where some come in, they come one, two, three, but then gradually either a project takes the attention of and all that. I have some little history, time back, or when we were starting the school, they started with expiry staff. Gradually, they all left and uh, there was a need to bring in staff. And at the time, there were no many architects around. So they had to bring in the, some more practicing. But now, of all the staff we have in, about 18 of us, 16 uh, licensed architects, whom are also practicing. There are courses such as, uh, that are related to EPA, fire, in all such pro courses, we bring in uh, people from industry to share with a student and there's something that is done yearly that has ceased yes but then some do come in the instances where some even just walk in they are not invited you'll be in the studio a call a long time colleague or a senior I was in Kumasi to do a project I have some two nights here there's some one hour two hour in between they join in our studios at a very informal level, not even by a formal invitation letter or whatever, they, they, they come in. And uh, let me also add that in response to that, we are currently pushing to have agile lecturers. 
these are people from industry whom uh, by way of practice or experience they have so much to impart uh, because the uh, department is part of an educational institution a university that has requirement of staff uh, having minimum of PhD to be able to be employed as a lecturer we are falling on the agents whom are also from industry to come in to impart with respect to um, experience or the practical knowledge um, yes this 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 uh, challenge is there we've all noticed South Africa and Chinese all coming in uh, I would they say we lack the competence or products from here or local train here or Ghanaians don't have the competence right but uh, I realized one thing for practice apart from the technical knowledge there's a business component to it right uh, that's the capacity that our people need to acquire we have some aspects in our courses that touches on that but it's not uh, I'll not say it's, up, it's not up to the level to equip them so it I think it should be advisable that after the training here products may uh, upgrading maybe doing MBAs some administration courses to be able to equip them because having the technical knowledge is one and as a business is one gradually the systems have changed time back the architect was seen as a leader of the team but gradually with programs like project management and all that coming in you get people from the allied professionals doing further study as i mentioned administration management and all that any of them can lead pick it up then employ the others to work with right so i think that's the issue it's technically we have but then we should begin to see the practice as business we will not have to sit wait for say a competition to be run for us to win or the ministry so oh, there's a job Ghana is of architects why you are your members but we should come up with some proposal identify areas in the society that needs to be addressed through design where the architect may come in then we approaching the ministries or whichever agencies with this because the our colleagues from uh, from outside South Africa China and all that my discussion in some city quarters that 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 is that is an approach I mean they didn't sit in their country somebody in South Africa how do you see that maybe there's something feasible in here they come in but we are here we I think we need to get ahead of them but uh, technically yes we are ready and I must say that some of these people they come in and they team up with local architects to deliver and uh, you may find majority of the people uh, involved being Ghanaians that should testify that technically we are ready but then we need to do some training and uh, Ghanaians of architects they support this through some continual development programs but then all some also enrolling formally to equip themselves project management MBAs and all that to see the practice as business my key thing is attitude and time management right here we are you have staff who are ready I just mentioned the earlier point that technically they are equipped but then students as we know them here the issue has been attitude being punctual being regular uh, submitting schemes on time and all that because when you go out it's not the story is not different you'll be dealing with clients and even at that level it's more demanding because emotion is coming I always say this that the difference is that here you are awarded marks you go out it's not marked but you are awarded with your fees but then all the demands it's even worse out it's, it's even more demanding out there so if I should say anything to our student 
there's time management and all that and once they do that it will enhance even what they pick once you have staff who are ready who are committed to 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 offer and deliver so it's, it's more of Thank you.